What is going on guys, welcome back to another Your Local Team episode. Today we're going to be doing uh, Tondu RFC from Joe Brett. So as you can see, this is Tondu RFC. They have a kind of like a blue and red striped top. Uh, and yeah, it's kind of like, again, it's going back to like the Welsh Premiership sort of style tops. Not very professional, but looks nice. Uh, so this is my take on the kit. So as you can see, I've still kept the blue, but I've kind of like mixed it and made it a little bit brighter. Uh, and then obviously I've kept the red stripes, but I've made it a little bit more stylish by adding different patterns all around. I've then added white into the kit as well to try and make it a bit more colourful. Uh, as you can see, the kit supplier is there. I think I would have changed that white if I could have, but unfortunately I couldn't. Uh, and as you can see, the logo is there as well. Overall, I thought it looked quite nice. And I think it does look a lot better than the original. Uh, but yeah, you let me know in the comment section what you think of that. Uh, so up next, then we Raz wanted to see the Toyota Cheetahs. And uh, as well as... Free Mr. Dab wanted to see the Toyota Cheetahs as well. So here is the Toyota Cheetahs current kit. So as you can see, it's an orange and white striped kit with a little bit of black in it. Toyota is sponsored in black going across it. And they've got Canterbury along the top left by the collar. And it's a round neck collar with the logo then featuring in it. And a another sponsor on the left hand side. Uh, so this is my take on the Cheetahs kit. So as you can see, I've gone for like a cheetah sort of pattern to it. Uh, uh, with the orange, a different, another like kind of like a lighter shade of orange in it as well, and then white. I then added grey along the shoulder top as well, uh, a black trim to the edge of the sleeves, a black collar, white in the middle of the collar, a black Canterbury logo, the logo then being opposite the Canterbury logo, and then Toyota going across the top. I mean, I don't think it's as nice as a, a normal uh, current kit, but I do think it's definitely a competitor against it. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comment section what you thought of that one. Okay, so up next then, we have Bay of Plenty Steamers or Waikato Chiefs from Mr. Lego 07. So as you can see here, this is the Waikato Chiefs. Uh, they've got a kind of like a orangey kit with a black stripe, uh, but, well, black and red stripe. Uh, then they're sponsored by Gallagher and Cookery is the kit supplier with their logo then featured in it and a white collar. So this is my take on it. Now, I wanted to mix it up and make it really different. So as you can see, it's looking a little bit yellow. Uh, but that is generally down to the fact that I wanted to try and make it the same colour as the logo. Uh, so it is a little bit different, as I said. Maybe you can make like, an alternate kit or something like that. Uh, I've then added the black back into it, but it's kind of like a half stripe uh, blending into the yellow. And then we've got a red thin stripe going across it. The red stripe is still in the middle of it with Gallagher being the main sponsor going across. Cookery is there then in white. I then added a black trim and on the edge of the sleeves and then a white collar. Overall, I thought it looked nice, but it could potentially be either a away kit or an alternate kit. I think the home kit looked a lot better, but yeah, I thought it was okay, but not my proudest creation, I don't think so anyway. Uh, so up next then, we have another one, which is Wairiapa Wy Bush Rugby Club. I think I've said it wrong, but I don't know, and that's from Notorious Rogue. So as you can see, here is their rugby kit. It's kind of like a plain green uh, with the sponsor saying the Farriers, Cougars, the kit supplier, and then there's their logo. They've got then red at the edge of the sleeve and then a red collar. Uh, and overall, yeah, it's a decent kit. So here is my take on that kit. So as you can see, I've kept the same sort of color system going. Uh, the sponsor is there, but in a white square this time. I've got a darker green fade going up to the chest area. Cougar is there, but in black. I then kept the end of the strip red because I just thought that's the traditional colors. I've then got a red collar going across the middle, and uh, then the logo is there on the right hand side. So I thought it is a nice kit in general. Um, I think it's. I think this one is probably nicer than the original, personally. I think. Uh, but overall, again, I didn't it didn't really have a lot to work with because it's a solid color kit anyway. And with it being traditional, I didn't really want to change it up too much because I haven't got many colors to work with when it's just a solid color. So hopefully you like it. Uh, notorious rogue, but I don't know if you will personally like I said I think it's better than the original but that's just my opinion so yeah let me know in the comment section what you think of today's kits but without further ado that's gonna be the end of today's video I hope you have enjoyed please make sure you go ahead and leave a like to show your support for this series is uploaded every single Friday so stay tuned if your kit hasn't been announced yet uh, let me know in the comment section if there's a kit that you want me to do I've got so many to do this year I'm trying to do all of them and like I said I'm trying to do like three or four every single Friday trying to spread it out a bit but every kit will be done i promise so please stay tuned if your team hasn't been done yet uh if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe we upload rock videos all the time every single week 
uh, things like this, as well as everything covering rugby as well and rugby video games. So stay tuned for all that. Thank you so much for watching. And as I said, like, comment, subscribe. I've been Andrew. I will see you in another episode. Peace out, guys.